I feel like LA is a really forgiving city in that a lot of misfits move here and get away with so much. You always have a chance to turn over a new leaf. I just feel like there's so much opportunity in Los Angeles that if you want to get anything done, there are always people here that can enable you to do it. My name's Henry. I am a singer, DJ, music producer, and I live in LA. I got my first DJ residency at the Spare Room in the Roosevelt Hotel and I DJed there for about two years and then now I've just started a new night on Mondays at Grandpa Johnson's in Hollywood. When I first started my band I basically had five A-list session musicians as my first band. Joey Warrenker, who plays drums with Beck, Cedric Lemoyne who played bass for Alanis Morissette and then me who's never done anything in front of anyone before. I feel like if you want to put together a band LA is definitely the place to do it but also like there is just the best music venues like I think the Hollywood Bowl is probably one of the best music venues in the entire world. It's huge and the sound because it's an amphitheater it carries no matter where you're sitting. In LA, you really need to be tapped into the underground music scene. The downtown warehouse parties are really great. And you have all the best house DJs coming through playing. One of my, a friend of a friend came and DJed here. And it was at a warehouse at the bottom of my street. And I just remember having the time of my life. So as well as the music and the film industry, I think one of the other highlights of LA is how good the cuisine is here. I am definitely a foodie. I used to write a food blog called The Food Fight, the quest for the best. I think the best meal I've ever had in LA was at Providence, which is this Michelin star restaurant in Hollywood. It's just got amazing food. My favorite thing about Providence are the jello shops. And after the 10 course meal that we ate, we all wanted another two or three rounds of the jelly shots. <laughs> I am a coffee fanatic, yes. But I will drive to Intelligentsia in Los Feliz for my coffee sometimes. I love lattes with a tiny shot of chocolate ganache. For the special pieces in my wardrobe, I usually go shopping downtown at this small warehouse called Shireen. Shireen is a designer as well, so she sells her own clothes as well as having rows and rows of amazing old vintage dresses. I think LA is one of those cities where you really need to discover it for yourself in order to fall in love with it. And I think that if you make a really good set of friends and you seek out the cool places to go, there are the best uh, opportunities and best things to do, the most things to do in LA.